Hey. Hey. It's me. Arwin. Brian Stepanek. Uh, oh, okay. Are, uh, are you ready? Ready for what? No, really, are you ready for something big? What is it, Brian? Because it's coming right at you. Oh, God. It's the Disney Channel games. Oh. Thank goodness. <laughs> if you want to know who's the best. What's up, strugglers? I'm Scott from Subs Across America, and you're watching Disney Channel. There was nothing more exciting to a 12-year-old Scott in 2008, the first summer that my family finally got cable, than flipping on the TV and watching the Disney Channel games. These were the Superior Olympics that year, okay? Usain Bolt? No thanks, I'll take Moises Arias. Michael Phelps? How about frickin' Mitchell Musso? Sean Johnson? I've literally only ever heard of Brenda Song. The Disney Channel games was a mini-series that ran in the summers of 2006, 2007, and 2008. And each one was a little bit different, but they all followed the same general format. A bunch of the most popular Disney Channel stars formed teams and competed in various challenges and games uh, to win money for charity. And apparently it was all based on a series called Battle of the Network Stars that was on in the 70s and 80s. So there's some riveting trivia for you. <laughs> we stand a great chance of winning. We have Shin. He is one of the most athletic people that I've ever seen. We call him Spider Shin because he is like... Spider-Man? An animal. Oh, right. <laughs> the 2006 games were fine, but that was their first season and they were still kind of trying to work the kinks out of the show. But for season two in 2007, they went all out. They held the games in a big stadium with a bunch of spectators. There were musical performances by some of the stars throughout the series because literally every single Disney Channel star has to have a singing career as well for some reason. The dream is a wish your heart makes. Hey, I'm screaming at you. No matter how your heart is grieving. Do a lot of fucking things you don't want to fucking do, so you might as well fuck me too. Wanna fuck? You could go online and vote for each week's MVP, or if you're like me, uh, go to your friend's house because you don't have internet and make them vote for Adrian Balon because you have a crush on her. <laughs> there were even cameos from some of the animated characters. So if you haven't seen any of the DCG Disney Channel games, then this is the magnum opus. Season two is the one that you want to dive into. So naturally, we're going to talk about season three instead. <laughs> I think Disney realized that they were putting way too much money and effort into this little event because by the time season three rolled around, they cut back on the budget a lot. The stadium went from this to this. There were no fans in the stands. I'm pretty sure the trophy was made out of styrofoam. But what differentiated this season from the other ones, other than the fact that there were only five episodes, is that season three introduced some drama. Until now, the DCG Disney Channel games had been about as cookie cutter Disney as you could imagine. Just a bunch of wholesome teens and tweens playing rock, paper, scissors with an inspirational interview cut in every now and then. But in 2008, Disney brought the heat. Here is a list of just the reality shows that were on in the summer of 2008. That's a lot. <laughs> this is what people wanted to see, clearly. This is what was hot at the time. The first two seasons of the Disney Channel games were focused heavily on just the commentators and the games themselves, so there wasn't really much room for the personalities of the contestants to shine through. But that all changed in 08, so let's get into the drama and let's check out the Disney Channel games. <laughs> Welcome! All right, this is going to be awesome. This year's games are gonna be unlike anything you have ever experienced. They're gonna challenge you physically and mentally. The stakes are higher than ever, it's crazy. You'll probably all notice that uh, you aren't in uh, Team Colors yet. Oh no, what? You a little curious? Yeah. Know what teams you're on? I don't know what it is about Team Colors, but I get so motherfucking hyped. I don't know what it is about Yellow, but there's something that just gets my adrenaline going. That's the team that I always wanted to be on. So we're gonna be team yellow today, baby, let's go. Let's check out the rest of the competition though, huh? Just, just for kicks, right? Just to see who we're gonna destroy in these Disney Channel games. The first member of the Inferno team is Jason Earls. <laughs> Dang, he's like 30, 31 years old. The experience could probably help him a lot. Adrian Balon! <laughs> Oh man, that's, that's my girl. Nick Jonas! Bro, Nick Jonas? 
Dead key, Austin! <laughs> Dennis, I'm Dennis! <laughs> oh! Mitchell Musso? There he is! Mitchell, my dude! Our team captain! Bring us on! <laughs> I'm team red now. They're stacked. I mean, come on, who who chose these teams? <laughs> this is so unfair. Here's just some photos of the rest of the team so you can get a feel for who's on them. Green here, they look pretty solid actually. Um, blue, they could maybe be like a dark horse kind of crew, I guess. But holy crap, what is going on with the yellow team? I mean, Moises is adorable, but what's he gonna do? Tie your shoelaces together? And Keijo as team captain? Is he really ready to take on that role? I mean, come on. No disrespect for my favorite Jonas brother, but let's be real here. And unfortunately, it seems like people don't like being around Kyle Massey. Yes! Kyle Massey is the loudest person, and he happens to be on my team. I wanted so badly to be Team Yellow. Why do they always have to let me down? In Fall Guys, apparently the Yellow team is cursed or something. Back in 2016, when Pokemon Go came out, guess which team I joined? Team Instinct. And apparently I was the only one. And when I turn on the TV in 2008 to cheer for Team Comet, I see four people I've never seen before and Kevin Jonas as my team captain. One day. One day I'll be able to cheer for a dominant yellow team, but today is not that day. Team Inferno for life. Let's go. Now I'm official. These are your Disney Channel Games teams! <laughs> Jump suits, jump suits. You will notice that there are some tents set up over there. Those are your team headquarters. So they tell the contestants that each team has a special tent just for them to go in and relax in between the games. And it's so funny listening to them try to act excited about it. This is red. Yellow. <laughs> Green. Yeah, red. Blow up chairs. How many billion dollars did Disney make last year? This is crazy! It's kind of like the first day of school. Like, you hope you have all your friends in your homeroom. I'm so excited. I have Jason Dolly on my team. He's one of my best friends. It's like being on a team with my brother. <sighs> Another fallen soldier. So for the first challenge, the teams have to assemble a chariot and then pull it across a field and to a finish line. Pretty standard stuff. It's not that visually interesting. But apparently nobody told Brian's to panic that. <laughs> the comments are staying with lightning. Oh, look at Sabrina go. Check out Jason Dolly, people. Infernos, look at him go. Infernos are on a roll. Kevin Jonas is looking nervous. Shin and Keely take off. Lightning are the first ones out of the gate. Jason Dolly and Joe Jonas pull for the Cyclones. Can they catch the lightning? Lightning crosses the finish line first. And the Cyclones come in a close second. As we can see here, it's definitely neck and neck. Photo finish type shit. <laughs> Edge of your seat action. <laughs> I thought you guys were awesome. I thought we all worked together so well. And that's what teamwork is all about. We are definitely gonna win this competition. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna go all the way to the top. All the way! Yeah. We made it through it. We won. Yeah, great energy on that one, Demi. I think we got it, guys, perfect. So the order was blue, green, red, and of no surprise to anybody, yellow finished last. Since the blue team won, they got to go to the winner's tent and drink smoothies and relax. And all the while I'm sitting there thinking, am I supposed to be happy for them? I'm 12 years old, sitting on my couch in North Dakota, while a bunch of rich, famous, and incredibly spoiled Disney kids are pampered in California, right before my very eyes and I'm supposed to be happy for them. This isn't Survivor. I'm not watching a school teacher who's away from her family for over a month, you know? I'm watching glorified theater kids who probably did a line of coke in their trailer before they started filming, frankly, and they're living a life of luxury. And somehow, I just can't help it. I am happy for them. So good for you, blue team. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. So the second episode starts with each team performing a cheer that they came up with, and yes, I'm about to criticize teenagers. Cheers. Okay, I have no other choice. Lightnings is fine, really nothing to write home about. <laughs> Yellows is actually by far the coolest because they send Moises to the frickin' moon. The Cyclones did something. Cyclones. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
But oh dear, my red team seriously uh. f***ed this one up. So during everyone else's cheers, they were all laying on the ground pretending to sleep because they were so bored by everyone else's cheers, which is a bold move, right? If you're gonna pull a stunt like that, you better absolutely knock your cheer out of the park. What the f*** was that? I've seen elementary kids come up with better cheers in the bleachers at a pep rally. Yes, good. Give them a taste of their own medicine. I'm team green now. So the actual challenge of this episode that counts for points is a team obstacle course. They all gotta link up and finish the course together without messing up on any of the obstacles or breaking the chain. And as always, I just, I love Brian Stepanek's play-by-play. -play. Lightning is like lightning. They're good, they are very good. They're working together very, very well. You can hear them talking to each other. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Impeccable communication right there. Uh, guys, I'm a little confused. What am I supposed to do? Move, go, go, go! I'm falling behind, I need help! Come on, come on, come on! Red has to reposition and go through the tires again. Come on, come on, come on. The Comets are having a hard time, a little bit of a problem. Here we go, Infernos can catch up! Here we go, it's gonna be close! Infernos are gonna have to pick it up! Now it's the first entire team to cross the lines, guys! It's very close! And it's the Comets! Comets win in a very, very close contest. Wow! Holy smokes, yellow team won. That was fantastic! Look at us. Hey, hey, look at us. Who would have thought? We recovered from a nasty fall. Our fearless leader Kevin's out here blowing snot rockets. So good for yellow. Uh, we are only two challenges in, though, and everyone else seems to already be a little bit on edge. But we're gonna win. <laughs> we're gonna take home the gold. Mitchell was trying to ease the mood, I think, by singing these songs, but I think he was more driving us crazy than anything. <laughs> Nick, he was way more competitive than I thought he would be, and he, he took that loss particularly hard. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and permanently distance myself from the red team. They're taking this <laughs> way too seriously. There were always kids in gym class that would pout whenever they lost kickball or whatever. That's the red team. You're at the freaking Disney Channel games. I think you should be having fun. There is a Jonas sibling rivalry. In the DC games. Sibling rivalry. Yeah, that's how you say it, Joe. Say that 10 times fast. Oh wait, you can because you're not as good as me. Sibling rivalry, sibling rivalry, sibling rivalry, sibling rivalry, sibling rivalry, sibling rivalry. Kevin even gets left out of the bickering. Poor guy never gets any attention. Jaden and I, we went to their Happiness Begins tour and there was a part where the whole place went dark, okay? And then out of nowhere, Kevin is on stage by himself with a piano. The entire stadium thought, this is it. This is Kevin Solo, the one we've been waiting for since the beginning. And then at the last second, Nick and Joe come up out of the floor and steal his spotlight. And I won't have it anymore. Whether he wants it or not, Kevin deserves his moment. And that's why I'm Team Comets for Life, baby, let's go. So for the first time pretty much ever, we were, we were me and my brothers got to be in a situation where we are ultra competitive. It stays on the field, there's no brother rivalry outside the field, there's no like, oh, I'm gonna beat you on guitar licks or anything like that, it's all left on the field. That's what you think. Oh God. If we only knew. My teammate Dennis is from Australia, which is so awesome to me. I've always wanted to go down under. I've always wanted to go down under. I've always wanted to go down under. Shit, Adrian. Trying to show what that mouth did you do? The next challenge is to go head to head with another team and match up their baby pictures with their current pictures. Blue team and red team won the first round. Nothing too exciting there. Might be a race but we were fast because we knew what to do. I really don't think Demi Lovato wants to be here. <laughs> well, let's pop into the final round and see how the two teams are doing. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Have fun. Okay, Brian, we will, sheesh. Go, here we go. Look at Cole Sprouse go. They got this stage down cold, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes lightning, back into the buzz zone here. Here we go, let's see what they got. I'm sorry, what was that? I mean, call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure these don't match up. Who's responsible for this? Allison Stoner? Ugh, you really think that's Jason Earls, the whitest man on the face of planet Earth. See, this is why I've never been Team Blue. And here come the Inferno. Mitchell hits the buzzer. Yeah. 
Happy Giant Rattle. I think we just really played to our strength and that's how we won. That was really the key. Well, if by your strengths you mean the other team being way more diverse and easy to identify, then yeah, you guys are a powerhouse. <laughs> you guys look good, but we think you need a little bling. So we've designed a little bling fling in the Winners Club for you guys to spice up your wardrobe. Please go and have some fun. Go! So day one, the blue team got victory smoothies. Day two, yellow got to play like pinball and pool and stuff and the red team wins some spray painted trucker hats and fake chains <sighs> poetic justice strikes again <laughs> episode four. Oh, oh my god he's so sick he's so, so sick. sick correct i call him pokey because he's slow i usually call him little man <laughs> hey little man <laughs> As in little guy. <laughs> I you love know? this little kid. I love this uh, little man. Green team will win. Goodbye. All right. I love the energy that the green team has given off. Green team for life, baby. Let's go. I think the next challenge would be the most fun to participate in so far. It's life-sized foosball. Let's uh, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it wouldn't be that fun if you were the goalie. <laughs> it seems impossible to block anything. And Kevin Jonas in goal, and look at that. Look who he's facing. Team up there. Oh, oh, what a block by Kevin Jonas. Unless you're Kevin, apparently. Look at that. Jason Earls. Kevin Jonas will not let them score. I just gotta do something quick. Of course. <laughs> And the Comets put out the Inferno five to nothing. No one expected us to win at all. I am truly honored to go call myself a Comet. Yeah, me too, Kevin. Me too. I want to be clear. I'm Team Kevin. Okay. Always have been, always will be. All right, strugglers, here are the standings after four games. Team Kevin and the Inferno are tied for first, Lightning is in second, and the Cyclones have been statistically eliminated, <laughs> but don't tell them that. We're almost there, we just gotta, we just gotta uh, work hard and, and think. David wants to win, he wants victory, and he tries to act calm and collected, but uh, he's dying to win. The best they can do at this point is tie, so. But I love the passion, nonetheless. <laughs> we are now tied for the lead, and I'm very, very, very anxious to see who's gonna win. We're definitely gonna take it up a notch. Maybe take that energy up a notch, huh? What do you say, Demi? They're, they're looking out for us today. They still don't think we have it in us to win. Where do these guitars keep coming from? Everybody's got a freaking guitar. Is that in all of Disney's contracts? You gotta be able to burst into song at any given moment. We are gonna sweep this competition. There's nothing we won't do to win. Nothing? They all do kind of have a crazy look in their eye. Something to keep tabs on Kevin's team, okay? So this is the final episode and it starts out with some individual awards being handed out before the final competition starts. The sportsmanship award goes to Shin Koyamata who is literally everybody's favorite person out of the entire group. I didn't include much of him in this video but if you do decide to go watch the DCG, the Disney Channel, you get it, for yourself, you'll see he is the sweetest man on the planet. And on that note, you might be thinking, oh, I'll just go over to Disney Plus to stream this Disney Channel show. No, you can't do that. They've got the most obscure stuff on that streaming service. That You could watch 1976's Gus, which is a movie about a horse who kicks field goals for a professional football team. Here you go, kid. Welcome to the NFL. I don't know why you'd want to watch that, but you can. It's on Disney Plus right now. But not the Disney Channel games. No, you gotta pay $8 on iTunes to watch that. I'm pretty sure the last thing I purchased on iTunes was A Bay Bay by Hurricane Chris. Please put the Disney Channel games on Disney Plus. Between you and me, somebody has uploaded all of them to YouTube. It's not great quality, but it is there. I did not tell you that though. That information did not come from me. That doesn't matter. Let's watch the final challenge. It's another team obstacle course with a bunch of different stages in it. Very exciting. And I'm all in for Team Kevin. Let's go, baby. On your marks, get set. 
Rashawn, Martin, Jennifer, and Jason race down the straightaway in their hamster balls, and Jason is the first across the finish. Great start, red team. Keep it up, baby. And quickly out with their flags and headed to the egg carry. G and Andrea are in a rhythm now. Here they come, and there's the lightning. The lightning yeah, yeah, crosses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Yes, blue team. I've always been blue team. Come on, baby. And it's off to the wall. Go, 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 go. Which proves to be no challenge for super athletes Shin Koyamata, Kevin Jonas, David Henry, and Nick Jonas. Look at them go. Hey. First and last time anyone has ever called Kevin Jonas super athlete. <laughs> Dylan, Rafa, Kyle, and Isabella frantically search for their team colored balls. Wow, that phone makes it really hard to see in there. Yes. Rafa and Dylan yes, yes. are the first out as they race to the okay. Kennedy trikes. There they go. Okay. Oh no, Brad Cavana caught his backpack in his trike. Oh, JT Austin cruises easily. Come on, where does my allegiance lie? Who do I cheer for? It looks like the Inferno are going to take. Dennis has reached the flagpole. Come on, Moises! Oh, Brad! Poor Brad! Here comes Kunal for the Comets, but it's too late. Inferno wins! Yes! A team right there, baby. Inferno for life. It's what I said at the beginning. I've always believed it. Team Inferno for life. Let's go. I'm really proud of my team. I couldn't ask for anything else. I love how Mitchell can't even be bothered to take his earphones out right now. What are you bumping, Mitch? What are you listening to? The show ends with a big closing ceremony and the twist is revealed that all of the charities represented by the different teams will be getting $25,000. Thank God. <laughs> this whole time we were under the impression that only the winning team's charity would be getting a donation. Can you imagine what that conversation would be like? Hey, sweetie, I know you don't have clean water to drink, but Jason Dolly couldn't block a goal to save his life, so you're gonna have to tough it out, okay? Oh, and I know you really wanted to go to Hawaii for your Make-A-Wish trip, but Selena Gomez didn't know what Cole Sprouse looked like as a baby. Sorry. To present the Disney Channel Games Cup, Marley Cyrus! What in the hell were they thinking with this outfit? Really though, whose idea was this? How dare they? They didn't have to do her like that. That's almost as bad as what they did to Mitchell <laughs> throughout his time on Disney Channel. So as the night winds down, Moises is depressed, the Cheetah Girls are fighting with each other in the background of every shot, and Nick Jonas is wearing the goofiest tracksuit of all time. The only thing that could make this moment any better is a corny sing-along to unify us all. <laughs> It's enough to make a grown man cry. So there we have it, Strugglers. The 2008 Disney Channel games. 2008 was a heck of a year. I played a crazy amount of RuneScape and Club Penguin and Presidential Paintball on Miniclip. <laughs> I made my first YouTube channel and I listened to 808s and Heartbreak more times than I can count. But the Disney Channel games will always hold a special place in my heart. And I think it's high time we brought it back. But I want to participate, okay? And I'm no Disney Channel star, so it has to be a YouTuber version. And don't come at me saying, oh, Logan Paul already did that with the Challenger games, because did you see the Challenger games? There were no teams. It was strictly track and field events. Where was the foam pit? I, I mean, <laughs> and I think roughly 90% of the guys ended up pulling their hamstrings, so. We're gonna stretch this time. And can we please get a different group of YouTubers to be involved this time than just the usual suspects? Because no offense, no shade, but I think we've all seen enough, like, I don't, I don't need to call people out. We all know the people that are always I don't need to say names. <laughs> you and I both know the people who have been shoved down our throats for the last eight years, all right? When is Matt Stoney gonna get invited to do something? Or Donna from Psych IRL? Or Eric from Pretty Much It? It might be kind of fun to divide the teams up by the content that they make. So like sketch channels, Gus, Caleb, ProZD, please start making sketches again. Julie, Lennar, going up against commentary channels like me, Jarvis, Amanda and Amanda, Eddie, me, Drew, Leon, D'Angelo, me, Mr. GG, me. This is mainly just an excuse for me to hang out with my peers. <laughs> I've still never met anybody. But it could also be kind of fun to mix and match a little bit. You got like animated storytellers, Swoozy and James from The Odd Ones Out, alongside vloggers like Danny Duncan, and then tech channels, Marquez Brownlee, I Justine, and me. Did I mention that I would want to be a part of this? <laughs> and I don't need to be the team captain or anything. I just, I volunteer as being the guy that's irrelevant that most viewers don't know, that's fine with me. As long as I get to hang out and compete and rep yellow, or there, yellow. I'll be happy as a clam. Hufflepuff is yellow too, aren't they? Damn it, this is something Mr. Beast could easily pull off. They have a huge creative crew. They do big scale stuff like this all the time. They can do it. Come on, Jimmy, do it for the, do it for the 90s and 2000s kids. Hashtag Jimmy Channel Games. 
Eh? No. <laughs> but Scott, he already does this. It's called the Creator Games. Oh, a, a free-for-all rock-paper-scissors tournament? What, trivia? I want to see the giant inflatable hamster balls, okay? Give me the foam pits. I'm talking 40 plus YouTubers competing over the course of a few days, not like the big brother thing that Kean and JC do. I'm talking Disney Channel game style and enough variety of people to represent pretty much every corner of YouTube. Somebody for everyone to root for, not just the little groups that always hang out with each other. Really expand, diversify. Maybe this has already been done and I just missed it. <laughs> Watch them do something like this now and not freaking invite me to it. All right, strugglers. I think that's all I got for you this time. Thank you so much for watching. This was a lot of fun to make. I had a lot of wardrobe changes. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and then you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links are in the description. I had to make a new Instagram, so I'm trying to get back to 10,000 followers at least so I can get the swipe up feature back. That was nice to have. <laughs> I miss having that. And an extra thank you to all of my patrons. These ones are in the top tier. Holy smokes, guys. I, You guys are just incredible. I love you so much. Maybe I'll see you at the Jimmy Channel games, but for now, I will talk to you again very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>